Sounds like I got to come up here and do some. Good afternoon. We'll call this meeting to order of the Oklahoma City Metropolitan Area Public Schools Trust. First item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of the July 15, 2014 Oklahoma City Metropolitan Area Public Schools Trust meeting. I will make the motion to approve the minutes. Is there a second? Second. We'll vote. Motion passes. Next item on the agenda is to approve the change order number eight for Rogers Middle School. So this is an increase of 15207 This is Project ES0068. Mr. Todd. Thank you, Madam Vice Chair. This is, as you said, for Rogers Middle School, and this is a, uh, a roof project, a change order, $15,207. There's three roofs on this gymnasium. There's the main upper one, and then there's two lower ones. This is to replace one of the lower roofs. Um, we have new finishes below that roof that are starting to get leaked on, and we have the ability to take project contingency and repair that roof. The third lower, or the second lower roof, the third section of roofs will be replaced by the district uh, very soon. Any questions? I believe that there was a roofing project for the main part of the building, right? Um, how much roof will be left undone with that second? <clears throat> Well, as far as the gym, there's just one smaller roof, a lower level roof. I couldn't tell you the square feet. Maybe Mr. Woodward, do you, Sandra, do you have any idea? I, I can't tell you the square footage. I can get that for you if you want. But okay. I just mean if you took the whole footprint of the whole building, I know that part of the roof was part of the main project. I think part of it was added later, and then, yeah, and then this one. Yeah, that's uh, my the, question. The, the entire building now will have a, a new roof from our program, except for that one little piece I mentioned. Any other questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve, please. So moved. Is there a second? Second. second. We'll vote. Motion passes. Next item on the agenda is item number four. We have uh, three concurrence items, and I will read each one of these, and then we can have discussions. The first is item number A, concurring with the Independent School District number 89 in ratifying the issuance of and approving agenda numbers one and two of I-89 2007 school bond issue. This is project S7002A, from Nichols Hill Elementary School Gymnasium. We're rejecting bids and approving final bid plans and specifications. The next is item B, which is concurrent with independent school district number 89 and approving change order number four. This is I-89-2007 school bond issue project S-70004, classrooms and gymnasium at Adams, Bodine, Horace Mann, excuse me, Horace Mann and Kaiser Elementary Schools. This is an increase of $9,845. And the last concurrent item is item number C, concurrence with independent school district number 89 
in accepting the West Nichols Hill Elementary School project of I-89 2007 school bond issue project S-70002 classrooms and or gymnasiums at Willer, West, Nichols Hills, Monroe, and Nichols Hills Elementary School and placing revised maintenance bond number two in effect. Mr. Todd, you want to help us with these? I can, Madam Vice Chair. The, uh, the first one is to uh, reject the bids because of uh, an issue with the bidding documents on Nichols Hills Elementary. So we're, we're turning this around and putting it out for bids again. There was an affidavit that was left out of the bid documents and by state law we have to have that affidavit with the bidding documents when they come in. And the second one is a, a change order, as you mentioned, to Adams, Bodine, Horace, Mann, and Kaiser. The main items on that is there's some flooring modification because of item number one, because of uh, some footings that were shown, so it's just conditions in the field. And moving on down to three, it is a uh, school district's request. And um, item four was also a, a field conditions that differed from the, uh, the as-built plans. And then the third item is a final acceptance for Wheeler, West Nichols Hills, Monroe, and Nichols Hills Elementary. Are there any questions? I want to make sure on C, even though Nichols Hills is listed here, it was actually taken out of this project, right, the gym? And, well, it, it was taken out of this project, and it, it is currently uh, under construct. No, no, wait. The, the gym on West Nichols Hills no, is... Nichols Hills. Nichols Hills, Nichols Hills. yes. That, that is the previous one on A. West Nichols Hills has been completed. So on C, we have both West Nichols Hills and Nichols Hill Elementary. Right. And I think that was the original project, but Nichols Hills got taken out okay. because of that problem with the... That's not right? Just the gym, right? Yeah, just the gym. Questions? All minds clear? If there are no questions, I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'll make the motion to approve all three. For second. A second. Okay. We'll vote. Motion passed it. Ms. Klaus. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Members of the trust, um, there are eight schools still in construction. Uh, Northwest Classen and Northeast Academy are completed and will be recommended for final acceptance at the next trust meeting. Uh, three schools, Roosevelt and Rogers Middle Schools, and then Class and SAS Phase Two are substantially complete and will be recommended for final acceptance in September. Uh, three other schools, Webster and Taft Middle Schools and Columbus at Jackson Elementary are nearing completion and construction is ongoing at John Rex Elementary and Emerson Art Alternative School. <clears throat> As for the I-89 bond projects, seven gyms are complete and final accepted. And the trust concurred on the final acceptance at West Nichols Hills today. Construction is ongoing for classrooms and gyms at several elementary schools, Parmalee, <clears throat> Adams, Bodine, Horseman, Kaiser, Mark Twain, Putnam Heights, Southern Hills, Stanwady, Buchanan, Gatewood, Johnson, and Oak Ridge, all elementary schools. And then construction continues on both Taft and Spiegel Stadiums. Uh, the Nichols Hills Gym and Safe Room bid opening is now scheduled for September 3rd. And plans and specs are being finalized for new gyms and safe rooms at Heronville, Fillmore, Prairie Queen, Rockwood, Eugene Field, and Edwards Elementary. And design is about 35% complete for gyms and safe rooms at Lee, Britton, Arthur, Parks, and Willowbrook Elementary Schools. Our next trust meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, August 26th. Questions? Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Comments by trustees? Comments by staff? Citizens? Ms. Parks, nice to see you. If there are no additional comments, we are adjourned. Thank you.